Hello, we are here at the famous Dinosaur Ridge Park in Morrison, Colorado. And this is a place where it's a great example of trace fossils. Let's take a look. These are potentially um, trace fossils from dinosaurs who are walking on tidal flats. And it was during uh, the time of the Cretaceous Seaways. And the dinosaur tracks were made by differential waves and compression. So let's take a look at the trace fossils. These are a great example of trace fossils. Trace fossils happen when there's differential compaction. So for example, you might see a leaf that's uh, fallen down or, or a piece of wood and then the wood is eventually um, eroded away or, or degrades but what's left is the impression or it's trace and it's called a trace fossil. In this case it's a little bit different and I'm not sure I'm not a paleontologist, yes, I study geology and have a degree in geology and experience, but, and I've taken paleontology classes, but I'm not a ver vertebrate uh, paleontologist. So I can't really tell you how exactly footprints and, and differential compaction manage to stay so well preserved and that differentiation just for, by weight of a track. And I'm also not able to tell you why it seems that some tracks are eroded and some some are preserved, some are not, and it seems like sort of a random thing. And it would be very interesting to do an experiment with, say, people walking on a beach, and to see, okay, if you had a lot of people walking on a beach, which footprints would actually stay? I, I don't know that there would. I, it's just a really interesting, really interesting situation, and and I'm not exactly sure how to. Um, describe the process, but the results are quite fascinating. So here we are, one of the most famous examples of trace fossils in the world, Dinosaur Ridge.